So in April of 21, I got a call from this guy by the name of Dan Gilbert, who owns the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, I, and who, everybody in Quicken Loans, everybody, he's, he's like single-handedly turning Detroit around. But exactly. you got a call from Dan Gilbert, okay. Uh, well, it was his team. It was Dan Gilbert's team. And they said, you know, you're known around the country of doing retail pop-ups. He has a 15% occupied mall in downtown Cleveland called Tower City. And in February, in six months, we're going to have, he's hosting the NBA All-Stars. And he's going to be very embarrassed if that mall is in the condition it's in today. So will you come to Cleveland and lease a mall? And I said, Cleveland Mall. No and no. (laughs) 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 And they said, okay, we get that. Can you come to Cleveland and like have a come for two or three days and tell us what we should do and how we should do it? Which was, you know, a sucker. I'm I'm a a sucker is born every day. So they, you know, there's the Ritz Hotel is one of the anchors of the mall. So they fly me in and they put me up at the Ritz and I walk into the mall and it's absolutely beautiful. And Tim, and they said, and so I said, oh, I said, what happened at the mall? And I heard this long story. I said, okay, I'll do it. You know, it's going to be a monthly fee, not based on commission. And it's six months. I can do anything for six months. And they said, if you could just get five or six tenants in the food court by the time All-Star Weekend comes, we'll be great. Roger, I did 26 and 26 deals. We turned the mall. We, we got the mall active for All-Star Weekend. He was beyond excited, not embarrassed. And I'm still working on it. Three years later, and we've signed 49 leases. And 45 of them are Black-owned businesses, women Black-owned businesses. 